and welcome to your Scene Web Share Quick Start Tutorial. My name is John Archuleta. I am the Virtual Design Technician with Avanti Restaurant Solutions. Now what we're looking at is an overview map of the project. Um, here is an individual scan and here's a group of scans. Let's go ahead and open up a group of scans and then click into an individual scan. Now here we are in high definition within an existing project and you can see we have a lot of information here and it's kind of cluttering up our view. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to take away some of this information to make it a little bit easier to view. Just come over here to settings and you can toggle things on and off just by simply clicking on the icons. So here are the annotations, here are the measurements, and here are the scan points. I'm going to take everything off except for scan points right now in order to show you how to move around your project freely. Just double click on the target scan points. And you're enabled to view and inspect at will. Now I'm going to show you how to take some measurements. I have to toggle that back on. Come over here to measure distance. Click on that. Just choose two points between planes. They don't have to be exactly above because I'll show you how to correct for vertical. We're going to come out here even. Once you've got the two points connected, you could name it and click OK. So from point to point, we have 105.52 inches. That's not very helpful because it's not corrected for vertical. So let's do that. Click on your measurement. Click on show axis and angles. Your true vertical is 103.51 inches from floor to ceiling. You can do the same thing with your horizontal measurements as well. Let's go ahead and measure to see how wide this pillar is. Hopefully it'll cooperate with us. So we have 48.64 inches. Let's correct that for a true horizontal. And the true horizontal is 47.83. So now I'm going to toggle measurements off so they don't distract us, and we're going to go and focus on annotations. So outlet, lighting to be updated, both lighting fixtures to be replaced. These all have brown diamond icons next to them, and that's because I have labeled them in a category as electrical. This would be items to replace that are appliances. I even labeled the trash can. Trash can, this, uh, mirror, this uh, glass door refrigeration unit. Um, let's see, this coffee, commercial coffee maker, things like that. But we've got a little bit too much information. And let's say I just wanted to forward this model or even a screenshot of this with some annotations um, to just our electrician. So we're going to want to filter out a lot of information so as not to overwhelm our electrician. So this, I've made appliances twice, unfortunately, <laughs> electrical, HVAC, and installation in the edit categories area. I'm going to click on electrical, so that's the only thing that will become visible. So now, a much more cleaned up scan as far as annotations are considered for our electrician to review and uh, <coughs> receive his information. In this annotation, I've actually included a hyperlink. Um, I believe it's a re the lighting that we're going to hypothetically replace that lighting with. So just click on that 
and click on this open link uh, icon and it'll take you directly <coughs> to this outside link where I have suggested this lighting fixture in lieu of the original one. So there's a lot of information you can embed in there and a lot of things you can use those annotations for. Um, punch lists, um, you know, just explaining uh, why something can't be done, why something can be done, and uh, a hyperlink to a suggested item uh, to replace, etc. So we've done measurements, connected measurements, uh, and read some of the annotations. Why don't we go ahead and make an annotation here? I'm going to tag this refrigeration unit. First you click it, and we name it. We're going to name this to be replaced as well. Enter a description uh, to be replaced with upgraded item. And that's not what I wanted to happen with upgraded appliance. Let's add a link. I'm just going to pick the first thing that comes along. There we go. It's not even to an actual item, but I just want to show you how this works. Add the link in there. Click Add. Set the category. This is, this is important because this is what organizes all of your annotations. We're going to set it to Appliances with the blue one, just because I made two of them and I think we're using the blue one. All right, hit OK, and there's our annotation. And you can see there's a hyperlink in there that will work for us. And uh, that's as easy as it is. And now to share this with your clients, let me know who you're sharing it with and I will uh, place their email into a, uh, a filter that will allow them to access this. And once you do that, it's as easy as copying and pasting this and emailing it out to your client. They'll be able to get access to it once I allow them. This is your quick start tutorial for seeing a web share. My name is John Archuleta. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions or comments. Have a great day.